Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 finally has the Beast transformation from Dragon Ball Super Superhero. And while it does seem pretty cool, it's also reminiscent of how bad Xenoverse 2 has become. Let me explain. Firstly, allow me to complain about the form a little bit because it does look kind of ridiculous. I mean, on my character, I'm looking like some, <laughs> some goddamn Dragon Ball AF fan character that just plopped out of like 2007 or something. Looking like Super Saiyan 5, but with some random bang. I, I don't even know what to call this. <laughs> it's so dumb. But let's talk about the positive aspects of this new transformation. I like the fact that they've added it to every single uh, race of custom character. That's cool. Uh, it's definitely needed. Mainly, the forms have been basically going to the Saiyans. There's not much in terms of Earthlings or you know, Frieza race or Namekians or anything like that. So it is refreshing to see a new transformation for every custom character race. I mean, when you look at races like Namekians, where you have Super Namekian, Giant Form, and then even more recently, Power Awakening or the Orange Form, and, you know, you don't get that for that particular race of custom characters, it just feels like the game is lacking a little bit. Understandably, the Power Awakening and Orange Form are fairly brand new, so, an exception could be made there. But in terms of like Super Namek or anything like that, I feel like there isn't really much excuse when it comes to that. The Margin race could have, I don't know, that steroid version. <laughs> that, that, that would be pretty interesting to see in game. I think while Golden Form is cool for the Frieza race, there's no in-betweens like between the first and final form that Frieza had, there's none of that. By far the biggest issue though is probably with the Earthling race because you've got Potential Unleashed, now we have Beast form. Where's the max power form? Where's the beefed up version? You know when Master Roshi did that in the anime? Where's that? That should have been added like, I don't know, how old is this game? Like six years old now? Like, where is it at? I'm trying to see that, that's what I wanna see. So there's a lot of stuff that the game is doing, but there's a lot of stuff that it isn't and that it could easily do with not too many issues and it would be a nice addition to the game, it would be a good change. Also another thing to back it up is that Xenoverse technically speaking is based loosely off Dragon Ball Heroes, even though they don't really follow much of the story, it still has elements, you know, you've got Xeno Trunks there and you've got the Supreme Kai of Time, so that's basically the gist of it, but I think it's a pretty missed opportunity to not have different forms, you know, like in the way that Heroes does. and not even to include any of the hero story, or just take elements from heroes and create something brand new. I mean, when you look at Xenoverse, it went through the entire, you know, Dragon Ball Z history, went up to Resurrection F or so, and, and of course, GT. And that's cool. Like, that was good for the first game. The second game basically just repeated that with a few minor changes here and there, went into the Dragon Ball Super storyline. That's cool. But there's not much difference. It feels very rehashed. Uh, you may you feel free to disagree, but for me, and when I look at the story, and when I look at the content that we've been given, it does not feel enough, in a sense. When it comes to like the actual gameplay, besides story, when you have stuff like expert missions, crystal raids and whatnot, expert missions, they're cool, I like them. You know, interesting to have very difficult content, sort of like Red Zone and Dokkan, so yeah, I can get with that. But when it comes to stuff like crystal raids, and here's where I have an issue, because they're basically, obviously, first of all, they're online. You can't do them offline, so that's a limit there. If you're on Nintendo Switch, then I believe that uh, you can't um, do that without having an expansion. It's not the expansion pack, sorry. It's just Nintendo Switch online subscription. So that's already a drawback for Switch users. For everyone else, it's not going to be that much of an issue. Uh, but that's just something to note there. Furthermore, it's very difficult to even find a lobby and very difficult to even participate itself. It's not the best when it comes to accessibility because you got to get if you want to create an actual lobby you need a demon realm crystal which you get from expert missions to get expert missions you got to grind the game so you got to continuously grind the game for stuff that has a very low drop rate and i know it, it's basically gacha gaming but let me complain let me complain it is kind of dumb you have to agree there the online events are cool but not too much variety when it comes to them it's basically just a more limited expert mission or raid quest, whatever you want to call it. When it comes to characters, I feel like it isn't as bad as fighters. It does feel like there are a lot of characters that are missing and some shortcuts have been taken. Obviously, you don't want, you can't really have every single character from every single 
you know, part of the series, that might be best suited to Budokai Tenkaichi. Um, we saw that with uh, BT3. Hopefully we'll see that in BT4. Yeah, it, it, it is slightly on the lacking side. We could definitely see more characters with more unique abilities and just have a little bit more variety into the game so it doesn't get as repetitive. Now I know that some people were complaining uh, maybe a couple of years ago and even still now about you know partner customization but it's locked behind TP. Uh, clothing stats where you know it just gets on your nose in the early game. But th those are more minor sorts of things. But even so I may have missed a couple of things. Let me know what you like and dislike about Xenoverse 2 in the comments below. Me personally overall I think it's not too bad, but definitely had a lot of potential that was pretty much wasted. So that's my take on it. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Slap a like if you liked the video, subscribe if you wish, and have yourselves a good one. See you around.